Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk about references, in particular, bibliography, citations, and index references. I'm going to get some default text on the screen by typing equals rand with an open and close bracket like that. Press enter. That'll give me some default text. Now I'm going to the references tab and first of all the bibliography. Before you can insert a bibliography you have to have some citations so I'm going to click on here and insert citation. Add new source is what I need to do because I don't have any. So I'll click on that and then this box will come up and you have the options at the top of selecting what type of source it is. This one is going to be a book and I am the author. So put my name in there. And the title of the book is The Door. And the year it was 2008. And we'll leave the city blank publisher was author house so you basically fill this information in as much as you want there's a tick box here if you open that up you can see that there's quite a few extra bits of information that you can fill in if you want to quite a lot of information but if i click ok to that it then puts the citation there and then if i do another one if i come down here and add another source. This time I'll do a different one. So insert source, add new source. So instead of a book, I'll pick something else. Put journal, author. I'm making this up. AMAC, title, IT and AI. And then name, AI. I first and then the year 2025 and you've got a reference to pages there I'll put on there 23 that'll do I'll click OK to that and then that puts the information down the bottom there so to have a bibliography what you do is you get the bottom there and you've got options here to change the style now depending what you've got what version of word you've got you might have more than that but i'm going to leave it on the default apa and then click on this option which gives me again different layout options but i'm just going to pick the top one which will drop that in there for me and you can see the two references there to the sources that i've just created now the next thing i want to look at is how to create an index entry so if i just come down a bit and type index you can see how this works so what you have to do is you have to mark the entry so i'm going to the top of the document and i'm just going to pick random words no no thought going into this really and then you go mark entry this comes up and it highlights that you click on mark and then as soon as you do that the show hide feature comes on is active and you can see the code there now you basically just go through your document highlighting words and you see that's grayed out and normally grayed out would mean you can't click it but it's because this is floating on this document you can click it and then it puts the next one in there and if you've got like page you can go mark all if there's more than one I don't know if there is or not but you can if, you, if you've got that option you can also click on a word and forget on that mark it and then a sub entry for that could be a year 2024 you might want to put in there and then mark it again and that'll be that'll appear in the index reference and you can see it coming up there in the code i'll just do one more mark and then i'll close this now you can actually mark phrases not just words so once you've gone through that process you're basically doing this insert the index again you'll get a style option from template down the bottom there i normally go for formal 
but you've got the different options you can choose from. That's what it's going to look like. You click OK, and then that will drop it in there with the page references. You can go back to home and knock off show hide if you don't want that. But that will automatically come on as soon as you start marking entries. So that's the bibliography and the index reference. So the last one I want to do is, if I go back to reference, is have a quick look at table of authorities. Again, you have to mark the citations. So I'll come back up to the top. I'll double click on any old word and click on mark citation. Same sort of box comes up where you have a few more options. In I'm going to click on cases to start with and then mark. Now it's on cases and cases is grayed out. So it's not looking like I can change that. But if I just double click on a different word, say this isn't a case, what you have to do is just knock it off. So it goes back to this default option and then change that to say statutes and then go back up the document and click on the word that you want to be as a statute. So I'll then mark that. So it's slightly irritating the way it does that, but that's a reason behind that Microsoft note and I don't. So I'll just double click on another word and mark that one. Then I'm going to do this next citation. So it knocks it off and I'm going to put it back to something different treaties. And then I'm going to scroll back up the screen, highlight another word and mark that as a treaty. And you just go through it like that, basically, in the same sort of way as the index reference. I've only done a couple there. If I close this off, you come back down the bottom here. Notice show hides back on. Once you've done that marking, you can then click on insert table of authorities. And then that will give you the option again to select a layout type. So I'm going for formal again, and then I'm clicking OK to that. And then that breaks it down. Depending on what you selected, I selected three different things. So you can see how it's broken it down there. And that's your table of authorities. So first one was the bibliography, then it was the index references, and then the table of authorities. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can get these references into your document and how you can display them at the bottom or wherever you want them displayed. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.